In this video, we're going to cover some of the new feature additions and refinements to 3D Coat as of version 4, beta 12. The first new addition we're going to look at is the 3D Coat Arrows Navigation Preset. It is exactly the same as your standard 3D Coat Navigation. However, there are times where if you're painting or maybe sculpting, especially along a linear portion of your model, and all you want to do is just nudge to the left or to the right or you know up and down and so on well I guess what I'm trying to get at is if you're laying down points you can simply just use your camera to nudge put the next point down nudge put the next point down and so on this can be very helpful in that case same thing with moving up and down okay in screen space so another new addition is the plus and minus key on your number pad to do the same zooming in and out. Okay, so again, this is just stacked on top of the standard, you know, 3D coach navigation style. I think you'll find it handy uh, from time to time. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and focus now on some of the new transform gizmo changes and not just the gizmo but the way 3d coat handles transform operations as you may notice from the mannequin model uh, let me choose the transform tool here if I click on an object it should default to center mass however in this case a great deal of effort was expended to place the gizmo orientation at the joints Okay, such as the shoulder, the elbow, and so on. The key thing to remember here is that 3D Coat will store both the position and the orientation of the transform gizmo on each object even after you save the file. So that's very handy if you need to come back to this file and you don't want to have to readjust all these all over again. Another powerful new addition is the ability to have 3D Coat try and guess the local orientation and it's not so easy on some models but it's taking an average of the normals okay and let's say two main axis BAM so that gives you a very good starting point if you want to adjust this gizmo one of the other recent additions that's been covered in another video before but I just want to mention it in case you haven't seen it is until recently you would have to click move gizmo in order to readjust the placement of the gizmo maybe change the pivot point and so on and then you would have to come back and uncheck that so if you're making a lot of adjustments that can be very tedious so 3d coat made it a lot easier by giving you the ability to hold the shift key and adjust it on the fly I can then release the hotkey to perform the transform operation. Okay, shift key, and I can move it using the widgets here. I can also make very accurate numeric changes without having to go over here to the tool options panel. I can just click on a widget. For example, this is you know moving along this axis. Uh, this one is scaling along the axis. This one is global scale. And this is rotate along this axis here. So I can click, hold, hit the space bar, and now enter numerically the value I want. Okay. And again, from here on out, 3D Coat will memorize where I last place this gizmo on this object. So, for example, this one, I'm not sure if it lost its uh, storage point, but again, center mass, again, two main axis, and it gives me a very good starting point. Hold the shift key, move it into place. So now, if I reselect this other one, you can see it remembers the exact location, orientation, and everything. All right, and the main purpose of the mannequin is to allow you to quickly pose a base character if you want to uh, put it in an action pose before sculpting. 
So that's that's really the main benefit. You also have a standard human figure that does not have all these individual parts. It's just one piece, if that's what you so choose. The last thing we want to touch on here is the pick to click option when using the transform tool. While the transform gizmo is active, you can click to pick and the gizmo will be you know, reassigned to that object. However, there may be some occasions where you are in close proximity with other objects and that may not be so helpful. Because for one thing, you can't really select anything inside this ring, so it can kind of get in your way. But you can turn off pick by click for the transform gizmo, okay? So the whole purpose is sometimes that's not so convenient. It may you may accidentally select something that you didn't intend. So you can turn that off here. Okay, so before we conclude here, I want to mention one last thing, and that is the update retopo option or feature has been renamed conform retopo mesh. And that's just to allow new users to be able to intuitively understand what that option or that feature actually does. So just want to bring it to your attention and uh, thank you for watching.